Ma'am, were you crying when you were shooting him? I don't remember. Were you crying when you were stabbing him? I don't remember. How about when you cut his throat? Were you crying then? I don't know. So take a look then. And you're the one that did this, right? Yes. And you're the same individual that lied about all this, right? Yes. So then take a look at it. <laughs> Prosecutor Juan Martinez has become a hero in these parts and indeed across the nation after winning the conviction against Jody Arias for murder one and the brutal killing of Travis Alexander. A uh, prosecutor Juan is the angel and the hero of my two very special guests. And we're talking about Sandy and Rudy Padilla. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Mrs. Padilla, uh, your son was uh, brutally murdered. And take a look, here's a, a photograph of your handsome, handsome son. He was 20 years old. Prosecutor Juan Martinez prosecuted the killer. It was a murder one case, and he won a conviction. The killer of your son is now on death row. If you could talk to us about your feelings for Prosecutor Juan Martinez at this crucial juncture where he has to uh, really argue a case again against Jody Arias uh, if he is to get uh, what he wants, which is uh, a death penalty. I definitely feel that um, she deserves it for everything that she's done to the, tra to tra the Alexander family and for what she did to Travis. She definitely needs the death penalty. Now, let me ask you about Prosecutor Juan Martinez and your case. You were able to give victims impact statements, and uh, you were telling me during the break that in your case, the defense also wanted to try to prevent you from talking in person and wanted to try to put you on videotape, but you, they didn't win. You were able to speak in court, correct? Yes, we were. We were lucky that we were able to be our son's face, his voice, and be heard in front of the jurors. What would you like to say about Prosecutor Juan Martinez? I know you've called him your angel. I just, every day we thank him and because of this trial, this is why we wanted to see because during our trial, we did not remember any, anything. Everything was just a big blank. We just went through the motions and at the end when we heard those words guilty, all we could do is just look at Mr. Martinez and just, you know, thank you. Thank you for, you know, giving us justice for our son. And given that this toll process has been delayed yet again, what, what feelings, can you describe what the Alexander family is going through? Well, I'm sure they would just want to get it over with. Um, as far as waiting on the death penalty, um, I'm sure it's coming. Why does this bring up old emotions for you? Because he was our only child. And to sit there every day and hear how they were trying to give, get this man off and trying to just find every excuse that he did not deserve the death penalty. As my husband said, he executed our son. So why does he get to live? Right now he still gets to visit his family gets to visit with him. He gets up every morning, sees the sunlight. We don't. We don't get to see our son. We don't get to hear those words, mom, dad. We stay childless. He took everything from us. And the one thing Mr. Martinez gave us was justice. He gave us justice for our son's senseless murder. I am so sorry. I am so very sorry. And I would like us to focus on the photos of your handsome son, viciously murdered at the age of 20. Take a look at that handsome young man. And my heart is with you. My heart is with you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We'll be right back.